Hello, welcome to day 145, Coffee with Kenny. This is our daily video where we cover all kinds of helicopter training related topics. Today we dedicate to Taz Crispin. For those of you inquiring about Taz Crispin, wanting to fly with him in the Switzer 300, he works at Airwork Las Vegas, so that's probably the best place to get a hold of Taz or on Facebook or on Instagram. Taz really digs the Switzer and that's what he flies among many of the other aircraft. In today's video, we're going to talk about a question that could come up on a check ride, and my examiner loves asking this, and he always asks this after you've finished the oral and you're out at the aircraft. I can see him go back to the tail rotor and ask this question every time. But first, I am Kenny Keller, creator of Helicopter Online Ground School. We've been online seven years. Taz Crispin, I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we authored this Amazon best selling book, Top 10 Check Ride Tips. Taz went out and talked to examiners in the Las Vegas area, I think three or four different examiners. And Taz is an airplane instructor and helicopter instructor and also an, a military pilot. So with Taz's experience combined with my 20 years of experience, that's 40 years of experience, we put our top 10 check ride tips together. That's an Amazon number one bestseller. And then we have helicopter check ride, another one that I did myself about four years ago. Both of them Amazon number one bestselling books. You can of course get them on Amazon, but we've also bought a whole pile of these books for you. You can go down below and there's a link where we'll send you Either one of those books for just shipping and handling. We bought the books for you, you pay shipping and handling. That link is down below. And I do want to mention, we have private pilot, commercial pilot, instrument pilot, certified flight instructor, four courses online, all available for FAA wings credit after you've completed those courses and you can take a test and it automatically reports to the FAA so you can get FAA wings credit for any one of these courses. And yes, we also have practice written test practice. A lot of people are asking about that. Yes, we have written test practice for every course inside the site. And we have a 24 hour test flight. We can go ahead and check out the training, be build nothing for the first 24 hours. And we have a 30 day money back, no hassle guarantee. So the burden is on us to provide you the value. Okay, so this question, again, my examiner asked it on every check ride and I always know what he's doing when he gets back near the tail rotor and I see him back there having a conversation. This seems easy, but you can get tricked by this one. The question is, which way is the tail rotor providing thrust. Where people get confused is they think about the airflow, that turbulent air coming off the tail rotor, that is not the thrust. The thrust is the tail rotor itself pushing against the tail boom to counteract the engine torque. So yes, it's blowing turbulent air off this way like a great big huge fan, that's not the thrust. The thrust is pushing against the tail boom to work against the force of the tail boom wanting to move this way, the tail rotor's job is to counter effect torque. So it should be seemingly simple to understand. I can get how this could, could confuse a person, especially on a check ride when you're nervous. So I'm gonna wrap day 145 up with that because that's just a good question going along with the kind of the tail rotor things we've been talking about the last few days. Again, my examiner said, Kenny, People are showing up at check rides and getting confused on the different types of tail rotor failures or malfunctions, not to be confused with loss of tail rotor effectiveness. So there's a lot of things that pertain to the tail rotor. Make sure you go through all these and understand the differences between each and what the corrective actions are for the make and model of aircraft that you're flying. You're gonna find those answers in your POH, your pilot's operating handbook. So do us a favor, Click subscribe and click the little bell that goes along with that so you can be notified of our daily video. We cover all kinds of things. Careers, training, ground, flight, all kinds of stuff. A lot of momentum. This has been an absolute blast. So make sure to subscribe, click the bell. Please give us a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, click the dislike button twice. We appreciate that. And we will see you at day 146.